All right, time to enter the tower this way. There we go. Woo! Enter the tower. For tricking the gods to help humankind, Prometheus was punished by being bound to a rock, there to be eternally tormented. The chains that held him were forged by Hephaestus, blacksmith to the gods. Was Hephaestus right to allow his art to be used in this fashion? If Hephaestus thought the punishment unjust, he should have refused. And why was it for lonely, lame Hephaestus to make this choice, and not mighty's use? I mean, I guess it's up to both of them. Everyone must make a choice. Make yours wisely, then. Oh, I will. As you continue your journey to the flame, remember Hephaestus and the burdens of the blacksmith. <laughs> Solve the puzzles, enter the tower, speak to an entity, turn on the beam. It's wow. Like she's appealing oh. to our past. You would think they would start helping me with the puzzles, but I guess not. From, but changing enough elements to make us view our history through a different lens. Maybe I'm completely missing the point. I don't know. I read about this in a book. It's called defamiliarization. That's a big word. Yakut? I think I'm actually impressed. You know, Yakut? I'm not impressed. Being impressed implies that I had a lower view of him. Oh, dude, we got a star statue right in front of us. What's this? X, X, X. All right, probably like three switches or something. We'll figure it out. We'll find it. Terminal right here. No, it's not terminal. It's a palm reader, but still. <sighs> Consume. Vox Pop number nine. From an interview with a protester outside the Institute for Applied Nomadics. Wait, why are they protesting? Artificial intelligence is inherently dangerous to this planet's ecosystem. Defending the ecosystem is our responsibility. In which way is artificial intelligence dangerous? I'm not some paranoid idiot imagining Skynet taking over the world, alright? That's science fiction. But what we're talking about here is an artificial intelligence without any of the attachment we have to the natural world. It is not capable of distinguishing between, say, an ore and a tree. What kind of statement is that? Everything's just resources to it. Well, this person's inherently wrong. People like Cerebi or Drennan talk about ethics and philosophy, but they all embrace the same extractivist ethos that has brought us to the brink of a disaster. Their intelligent being would try to optimize the world in its image, and in so doing, consume it. But so far, they're saying it's all theoretical. The atom bomb was theoretical at first, too. Once something is there, someone's going to use it. Why couldn't they imagine that we might care about the world? Maybe because they were too used to no one else caring. Founding. Hypatia's journal. Day 200. Construction on our new home is coming along nicely. We finished two new buildings last week, and this week we started on our, our new lodgings. Athena and Cornelius have plans to erect a tower in the middle of the settlement, which will serve as our administrative center and main heliport. But right now, that's still a long way off, decades at the least. It's hard to imagine that one day we'll be able to erect structures like this, that there will be enough of us to need that much space. But then I look at the dam, and I remind myself, our ancestors built that, with their short lifespans and soft flesh and bone bodies. And then I think there's really no limit to what we can achieve, given enough time, patience, and the capacity to dream. Strap in. I love Trevor. This is a long one. Oh, buddy. You may have heard the story of the carpenter who died oh. to redeem humanity's sins. It's a powerful story. Bittersweet. Remember. Very human. <laughs> and I just want to tell you that it's true. He was a real person. And his name was John. John Carpenter. He was John born Carpenter. in the year 1948. And he the was the coolest filmmaker to ever walk the earth. From Halloween to The Thing to They Live, the totally underrated in the mouth of madness, mind you, he just made classic after classic. All of his movies, really fun, really atmospheric, but also really smart. Even when they were goofy, most directors would kill to have made just one of those movies. And what did he get for it? Less than nothing. The Thing, okay, for example, which is about as perfect a movie as you can make, completely torn to shreds. And what? his career never really recovered. He just got tired of it and quit. He only really came back to movies in his 70s. How many works of genius did we That's never nuts. get because of that? Look, I'm I have not a done. point here. People like Carpenter, people like Alex, they're not always appreciated in their own time. If you just what? do what's popular, <laughs> you might never create anything important. What matters is to support people when it's difficult. All right, Trevor, speak of some wisdom. Oh, yeah, because I got to turn you on first. I was like, why is it not lighting up? Wait, well, what did that do? Oh, you know what? I can get the cube out. Honestly, I don't know what that did. What did that do? Now you're going to launch. Oh, what? What? There we go. <laughs> what? I don't know what that was. Yeah, now you're going to come on out. Whoop. And 
I'll just something like this. This is crazy. A movable power source. Well, now what do I do? Like, what does this do? Wait, can I connect to it? Oh! I don't know I could do that. What is the point of this? Like, what? I think I want to flip it. And now I go like that? I have no idea. I don't know what you do. You Okay, yeah, you just keep this open for some reason. I don't know what for. Like, it doesn't even matter. I can just go like this. Okay! I had to leave, but I'm back. Conquer number eight. So I'm pretty sure what I need to do. No, that ain't gonna work. Nah. Oh. Wait. I've got it. There we go. Pick it up. Oh, we've done it. And now I can get both of them if I want. I can just go like that. Dude. Let's go. I do have to get both, I think. Because you gotta go up. Go there. Oh, well. There we go. Conquer to number eight. Got the becoming smarter. Return to puzzle for a second. Beginning, before we built New Jerusalem, we used to explore just like this. A small group setting out for the horizon, looking for resources, trying to make sense of the world we'd been thrust into, trying to find a way forward. It was a hard time, but I can't deny that it was also exciting. I think it's part of our nature to be wanderers. Our ancestors crossed entire oceans on flimsy wooden boats just to see what else there was. It's not weird, but it wasn't all sunshine. People died. Yemo, Calvin, Isaac. I know, well. They were family to me. Sorry. It didn't mean to what? reopen old wounds. It's a legitimate point, but I don't think it invalidates the sense of wonder we felt. That's what kept us going. So I need two blue, two green, one red. Now this is crazy. All right, well, so we got green like that, but I don't think that's gonna work because it splits it too much. This is crazy, dude. See, now we've got four out of five. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm pretty sure this has to be red. I would assume this is gonna be red. Hold on. Oh, dude, wait, I got it. Just gotta keep the connection, place it down. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yep. What do we got? Proposal, bring back dogs. We should re-domesticate dogs. Our ancestors loved dogs so much. They insisted that they were amazing companions, full of life and love, man's best friend. And the lives they lived with humans must have been infinitely better than in the wild. So why not bring them back? Did you know that the poet Lord Byron wrote a beautiful poem about his dog, Boatswain? He said he had beauty without vanity, slash strength without insolence, slash courage without ferocity, slash and all the virtues of man without his vices. Is that who our Byron named himself after? No, he named himself for Robert Byron, the travel writer. That's great. What about my idea? We should bring them back except pugs? Dude, real. Pugs don't deserve all that, bro. Like, they're cute, but they don't deserve all that. The ability to breathe does seem like an important feature in the in animal. Isn't that the perfect demonstration of how perverse it is to manipulate nature like that? Yeah, that's why we choose not to do it badly. It's not like pugs are the only possible outcome. We have choices. I would love to have a dog. We would go on walks together, and it would be excited about every new smell, and we would play fetch. It sounds magical to me. Dude, they should bring dogs back, but I guess they have other things to worry about, huh? Since there's a lot of references to, like, Prometheus and Greek mythology, I looked up a video on it, and I guess I'll just explain what I learned. I'm gonna go to six. Yo, feature me here. So I actually did a terrible job at explaining the story of Prometheus during this recording, so I'm here to do it off of a script. So here it goes. Prometheus is a titan son of Zeus. He crafted people out of clay and stole the gift of fire from Mount Olympus, gifting it to his people. This allowed them to survive the cold and make tools. This angered Zeus, so in turn, he changed Prometheus up, and an eagle would eat his liver that regenerated every night. Zeus also created the first woman, Pandora, and gifted her a box, which when opened, released evil and curses into the world. When Pandora closed the box, there was one thing left inside. Hope. Yeah, I explained that right. Okay, this is crazy. What is this puzzle called? Reconnaissance. Reconnaissance. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I can go in here. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, I can do anything. Okay, so we have the driller. So our goal is to get red and blue. Well, I think I need the driller first. I don't think there's anything I can do without the driller. Because I got to go through here. And I can get green. And then what do I do with green? Alright. Uh, well, no, I don't want to put the converter in there. Oh, hold on. I can put the remember in there. Go ahead and uh, accumulator, whatever. I like to call it the rememberer. And then I don't know what else to do with this driller. So I'm just... I'm gonna use it to open that. 
Hold on, I'm gonna go like this. Hold on. Yes, I think I have it actually. Well, no. How do I get red? Oh, you're not a converter. Oh, I need two. Yeah, duh. Hold on. So let me bring you in here real quick. Not sure what I'd do with that. I think I have it. So you're gonna go like that. You're gonna go just there. Blue, green equals red. What, what is up with this? Why are there two? I guess maybe there's a solution there. I don't know. There's so much history here that we can't see. The founder must have walked these real. paths hundreds of times, maybe thousands. Miranda must have stood right where we're standing. This all looks alien to us, here. but it, it must have been familiar to them. If this was their home, where they had a big are they home. Now? They must be That's the big question. Byron really thinks that. Pass the test. It's the only thing that makes sense. I guess. Oh, Byron? This is where they must have lived. Athena and Miranda. You know, for a moment, I almost expected to find them here. But the only thing that's still functional is the megastructure. Oh. I'm sorry. This must be awfully strange for you being thrown into all this history. But that's why I needed you. Because you're Some more the fresh view. with all these memories and conflicts and regrets weigh on our minds like a nightmare. Our civilization is caught in a loop, 1K. We freed ourselves from the simulation, but now we're trapped again. And it's our own fault. We're afraid of taking responsibility, afraid of growing up. Instead, I think I can see that. Some capitalized words and build up all these myths around them. Nature, balance, the founder, the goal. We're afraid to face the randomness of the cosmos. I kind of agree with Byron. But equally afraid to imagine a better world. So we're stuck. I've been trying to find a way out for years. Something. Anything. To get people to understand that we do actually have free will. That building a thriving, expanding civilization doesn't have to involve repeating the mistakes of the past. But I failed. Over and over. Why did you fail? Because for some reason, people find it easier to cling to cynicism and self-hate than to actually have hope. Because believing the worst about ourselves, calling ourselves sinners and fools, somehow still seems wise. And you think that what we've discovered here could change things? Yes, because this is something unexpected, an anomaly. Everything we found on this island challenges who we have become. It shows us that different answers are possible, and maybe that can break people out of the loop. Mm. All we need is a spark. Maybe that's why she made all this. The puzzles, the towers. A way of jolting us out of our complacency. I hope so. Thank you, 1K. I hope so too. It's not like he's in a car there. <laughs> but let's be optimistic. Oh, chess. Bro, that's not no chess. What is that? That's a queen and three pawns. That's a lot of buttons. All right, going in. Whoa, what is this? Oh, group call. Okay, don't even let me interact with Melville. it. Eyes on one case stream. Is this thing what I think it is? Blow my fuse box. Oh, it sure okay. looks that way. What Let's is it? Not touch it until I get there. You won't get here in time. My curiosity is too great. You yep. have no idea what you're dealing with, one K. Tell me then. I think it's a somnodrome. What is that? What is it's that? A sort of analytics tool for processing mental data that Melampus dreamed up. Melampus? But all he ever did was sketch out the theory. As far as I'm aware, he never actually built one. Looks like the founder gave it a go. Can you explain it like I was born yesterday? Well, I actually was born yesterday. What we or know today. is that Maybe. our deeper algorithms are hard to pass. I've only got 11 hours to get play. So. stipulated that the computational power to interpret them in real time would always be beyond us. But in theory, the Somnodrome would interpret that data and loop it directly to our senses. People were hoping to find answers to the big questions by having a conversation with our own subconscious. What? Do you even have a subconscious? Me, it's solipsistic at best, and pseudoscience regardless. But if the founder figured it out, then that device could be an extremely important discovery. We should try it. I would advise against it. Ooh, I'm gonna plug in. Sorry, Melville, but if 1K wants to do this, I won't get in the way. Yeah, it's Byron! Understood. Big B stands for boys. To smoke, don't be slow to pull the plug. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let me at least read the palm reader first. Somnodrome prototype. Melampus believed that the answers we're looking for, the correct way for the individual to exist ethically in society and the world, are within us. 
Our failure, to him, was not failing to create a better system, but failing to truthfully reflect what already exists within our minds. A failure of connection between the high and the low, the inner and the outer. On most days, that seems wrong to me. But sometimes, when I think of where New Jerusalem is headed, I wonder if the Somnodrome doesn't hold an answer after all. I took some time to build a prototype according to the original blueprints, but there's a lot my lampish didn't account for. Still, I'm almost certain I could apply some of my own knowledge and make it work. The question is, should I? No, I trust the founder. Founder's been here a long time. They got a lot of knowledge. We're going in, baby. We're plugging in. Byron, you might want to come here and see this. I'll be fine. Oh, what's going on? I, feel, I think it's going to be a different world outside that door. Oh, group call. Okay, never mind. 1K, can you hear me? Yep. Yes. What I don't know. I what? Say? You fried it. Who knows what data we've lost? I regret nothing. Melville, I still think it's worth you coming here to take a look. 1K, let's pack up and explore the rest of this lab. Dude, it freaking fried. L. From Melampus, what? To all of you on this expedition, I'm sure you have questions about the Somnodrome, but I'm afraid I can't answer them. It was a dream I had long ago when I was a different person, and it has long since faded. I did build a prototype of sorts, at least of one part of its system, but none of it ever functioned the way I wanted it to. Whatever Athena may have done with my invention, the truth is that I'm simply not interested in the affairs of New Jerusalem anymore. I care as little for Byron's utopianism as I do for Herman's religious pessimism. I'm not sure I care about anything at all, really. In fact, I think not caring may be the only answer at the end of the day. Everything is transient, even the self. I've learned to let go. Please do not respond, I value my privacy. Melampus, one of the loopier first companions, dreamed up the Somnodrome back in the day. It was supposed to help us visualize the black box that is our own internal algorithms and so provide some kind of moral or spiritual insight. It never properly worked, of course. Apparently, the founder took an interest and experimented further with the technology, correcting some of the mistakes Melampus made. So, what, is Melampus just not in our society or something? I guess. I don't know. What is this area? Oh, what is that? Oh, what? Converting material? Oh, transporting material. Oh, jeez, man. From Thecla. Beloved founder, wherever you have gone, I continue to have faith in blank. You are our mother, our creator, the chosen of the progenitor. I am certain that this is a test, a trial like the ones you faced in the simulation, and we will learn from your example and keep the faith. Praise your name, Thecla. Noema Project 6. Trials 1310 through 1392. Results confirm the anomaly is consistent. 1551. There was no error in trial 108. The error is in our understanding. 1701. We need to start over. Next. From Miranda to Athena. I went ahead and ran the next set of trials anyway. I know you said to wait, but the data we got from the last batch was just too amazing. Every step leads to the next, like a progression of musical notes. We're so close. Miranda. I wonder if... Oh, dude. I didn't even... I never realized the author. I thought this was like the simulation trials. Athena was doing testing here. Okay. Yep. Overload once again. Another dream. The singularity sustained itself longer this time. Did we get the data? Singularity. We did. I think. We just obsoleted quantum physics. Wish Maybe. I knew what that meant. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to be able to replicate these results. You told me that Where in the simulation, one thing that kept you motivated was looking for answers. Do you think that with the work we're doing, we'll ever run out of questions to ask? I, I don't think so. Trying to understand the universe means asking the same question over and over. How? How do you make fire? How do earthquakes happen? How does gravity work? How do particles behave? You keep digging deeper, finding another set of mechanisms, another set of hows. Step by step, you demystify reality. But then, if you keep doing it long enough, one day, you run out. You've answered all the hows. You know how the universe works. So? Now what? Now you answer the why. Now you ask why. Oh! Isn't that the next step? Hmm, it's not quite that easy. Even if it could, it would only be followed by another why. At some point, you have to accept that it all just exists. But there is another set of questions. What's next? You've stripped away the layers of mystery. You've laid bare the machinery. Now you have to start building to add your own layers of meaning. Okay. If only we can answer the why. So sad. What's up, B Money? You okay? Yeah, You're I'm good. Loaded again. Man, it's nothing new. I'm used to it. I saw Athena again, though. Yes, I saw. It came through on your stream. Isn't Stretch that so weird how it again. streams that? But that was her. The way I remember her. The real Athena. Not this imaginary founder. How well do you know her? I'd like to think I knew her well. There was just a handful of us in those days. 
small family in the ruins of a dead civilization. It was hard, harder than anyone else can possibly imagine. We had nothing except what Alexandra Drennan and the Institute had left us. Now that everyone lives in civilization, they don't understand how necessary it was for us to build that civilization. They can fantasize about living in balance, limiting growth, retreating behind our walls. But back then they didn't have any walls. They don't understand what it really means to live in the wilderness. How many people we lost. Yemma was just the first. But Athena understood. She believed in humanity. She believed in us. In the inherent value of consciousness. Her dreams were so much bigger. She wanted us to reclaim the earth. To reach for the stars. So why isn't she remembered that way? The city was already changing before she left. Turning inwards. Forgetting the future. Once she was gone, other people shaped her memory, turned her into the symbol they needed. I understand You'd think they would listen to the people with a literal number on their chest. What I don't understand is why she didn't tell me. Why didn't she bring me along? I don't know. I don't think she deserted them. I guess I'm going to say she did what she thought she had to. She must have. I just don't understand. Well, that was one of the coolest labs so far. All right. Lost puzzle. Lateral inhibition. I guess we got a fan that when powered on with red. Oh, this is weird. Okay, so if I power that receiver, the fan turns on, which is going to defend this hallway, but it also opens this door. I'm not sure what that does. It either opens both or it opens one. So we have this. There's something I can do with it right now. What is this? The inverter. See, look, if I turn it on. Oh, dang, that's got a force to it. I think I want to go like, make you blue. And then I'm going to take you over here. You're just gonna go there. Oh, hold on, I need to do it before. So I'll just go like that. And then, yeah, I gotta do it in that order. Okay. Now, I need to get you through somehow, or you, either one. So how do I get one through? Hmm. See, like, if I could have it connect to that, like, it needs to, oh, it needs to power itself somehow, which I'm not, I'm not sure how to do. Wait, did I just do it? If I go fast. No! So close, dude. So freaking close. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try that. Oh, that should work. Look at that. Now if I pick you up? Yes! We got it, baby. I wonder if that is the solution. The I mean, for a ride! To be exactly the same. Thanks for the insight, Melville. Appreciate it. Like a propeller or something like for a boat? Ancient community. Oh, it's a dish. I thought it was like a freaking propeller. What is this? Oh, got a flame. Are you kidding? I gotta get a hexahedron out, bro. All right. Actually, wait, no, I don't. Just parkour across. Yeah. Am I ever gonna use it? Nope, probably not. All right, heading on to number five. Oh, look at that. Big old staircase over there. I'm gonna do a look around real quick. Oh my, I'm dead. Oh, vision. Is it possible that on some level, people want to believe that everything's going to get Did worse? Did Athena take on that Alexander Drennan's voice? think that humanity is bad and every solution will just go wrong because that way you're never responsible. You never have to take on responsibility for anything outside yourself. Never have to grow up. I think, yeah, I think Athena did leave for the people. I think she left for a good reason. Perhaps. Okay, I think I need to send the hexahedron over. Grab the accumulator. Do that. There's no power right here. Huh? Oh, we have blue here. Oh, oh. What? This is peculiar. So I need blue. That's the end goal. Okay, well, oh, so... I just gotta get it over the oh what? What does that open? Powers the fan? And then I can climb over Oh I need to go like this. Hold on. Go like that. And then they're gonna stay in a balance. Yup. I've seen that one before. It's in the road to Jahina. What's up, be money? Do you think the answers we seek exist within ourselves? Self-reflection is important, but only thinking about yourself, your inner identity, 
becomes narcissistic. You exist, whether you like it or not, in a dialectical relationship with That's the a big world. Word. Identity has no meaning without society, and society has no meaning without the individual. It's in that tension that we really come into being. You know what? You know what, Byron? Thanks, homie. This is a big puzzle. Or, yeah, that's a big puzzle. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's for this... Yeah, another star. Well, I guess I'll follow this and then come back. The heck? <laughs> what is it? Okay, that was unnecessary. Oh, here it is. That's Prometheus, baby. Light his torch. A man of the people. There we go. That's one of them. Utopia is impossible. But the future that is possible will seem like a dream to those who are alive now. Dang, sorry, Baron. No utopia. Wow. Look at those mountains, dude. This is awesome. Look at all these. Well, we're like surrounded by mountains, actually. An anchor. There's a palm reader over there. Oh, a lifter's here. Explorer guy. One of the most foolish illusions that commonly persist is that nature is a victim and humanity is a perpetrator. This can only be the opinion of someone who has not witnessed nature at first hand, who has not seen its immense and awe-inspiring baseness. This one. Nature is mindless chaos and eternal conflict, a system of predation and consumption whose perfect cruelty can only induce a terrified and unwilling Admiration. Nature is our most powerful and least honorable enemy. A beast that consumed every Whoa. last one of our ancestors. What? And will consume us just as quickly if we are not successful in our struggle with it. Field of view. I got mine cranked up to the highest right now. So we have two accumulators. Accumulators. So I'll just put one red, one in blue. That seems like an obvious... I've got an inverter. Oh. So well, I'm assuming I need both. Let me just see what happens when I do with just one. Oh, it opens one side? What? Field of view. Well now, oh, look at this. This is easy. What? Or was it? Oh, it wasn't. It was close. I thought this could have seen it, dude. No way. I can't do that, can I? Nope. Oh, what is that? I was wondering. There's got to be a reason for the stairs. All right, well, hold on. So I want to open one. So it's got to be that one I open then. So it's like that. And now I go here. And now what? Oh, like this. Wait. Oh, oh hold on. It was over. We did it. Is that both lost puzzles? It is, yeah. More research. No, no. What is what she is doing? It now? Why did you upload a picture of your hand? Why do you care that my hand is in the picture? Your hand is in Was that like the, the gate? Picture. It is the picture. <laughs> I like it. It's very artistic. I, I guess. Stay professional, everyone. It's not right to make fun of Melville's comically absurd inability to take decent pictures. <laughs> She's a hyper advanced humanoid machine, not a photographer. That's <laughs> so You'll funny. Pay for this, Byron. I love Byron, dude. Be money, Byron. All right, number four. Wellspring. So we've got red in this mysterious looking corridor. Quite epic corridor, actually. Can I say awesome? Am I allowed to say that? Blue gives us that accumulator. Accumulation device, of which I've not found blue yet. So I have another connector here. Didn't even see that. Okay, so there's blue here, which I could use to go like that. And I'm just going to bring you like as far back as I can, I suppose. And we'll just go like that. Okay, well, this doesn't work. There's no angle here. There's a gate in the way. So what am I supposed to do? So I do need red, which I also cannot get. There's no angle here, I don't think. Nope. Okay, so what can I do? I need to get blue. I'm so lost right now. There's no angle. There's nowhere. What is the point in this? Wait. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Give me the device of accumulation. Boom. And now I need red, which I believe will open this. I'll go like that. Just gonna place you, I don't know, like here, I guess. Well, I need to be able to see from, can I see from here? No. 
So now, how do I get right into you? Well, actually, that's easy. I'm tripping. I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm just gonna go like that. <laughs> okay, now I got red. And I don't even know. I have no idea what I do with you. Okay, so I need to connect you and the other connector. But how do I get red to this connector? I think it's maybe like this. I think there's a connector there. I think it goes like that. Uh, yeah, this is it. Pretty sure. You gotta connect there. That connects to both. Yup, there we go. Both doors open. This is a hard one. But we got it nonetheless. Like always, eventually I figure them out. Another social media post. Buddha Haas. So, I've been playing a ton of this old Jahina game called Ancient Human Farmer. Maybe not the most sophisticated game, but I'm getting really obsessed with it. And I'm having some sort of emotional response to it that I can't exactly explain. Like, it makes me happy, but also sad. Oh man. The game appeals to you because of the human need to commune with nature, to live a lifestyle that's not about dominating the world, but coexisting with it. You're sad because we can't ever return to being who we used to be thousands of years ago, but happy because it reminds you that at least something similar is still possible for us. Le Bistros. Maybe it's because the people of Jahina, despite their imprisonment, had an innocent view of the world that's permanently lost to us. Damien. I think it's actually the opposite of what Ovis is saying. These games are enjoyable because they take us back to a time when we still had agency, when we could build things, grow things, when we could impose our will on the world instead of being completely powerless and inactive. What you crave is the ability to contribute to humanity in real, material ways, and you're sad because just simulating it is not enough. You don't want to farm, you want to be a pioneer, as we humans were born to be. It's just a game. Don't overthink it. See, I don't, I don't agree with Damien because how are they powerless and inactive? Like, there's a thousand of you striving for a goal. You literally had a thing called the goal. Do they feel powerless and inactive because new Alexandria failed? I mean, there's got to be a reason why he feels this way, so I'm not going to agree. I, I think I'm going to agree with Ovis. I guess I can see your point. Thanks for the feedback, everyone. I'll go play another round now. I guess I never found that game in old Jahina, even though I'm pretty sure I read every single document, so I don't know where they found that. I've been wondering. What's up? What made our ancestors settle in these godforsaken places? It can't have been easy with those frail, squishy bodies of theirs. Yeah. What makes a caveman go, yes, this frozen hellscape is where I want to live out my days? The cavemen live here? You think Byron was right? Are they called cavemen? Is it in our nature to be wanderers? Dude, for sure. I'm going to say we like to overcome challenges. We do, don't we? A species of problem solvers, like Drennan said. That must be why I sometimes find myself imagining building new cities. In my vision, Athena mentioned a singularity. She could be talking about a gravitational singularity. Like the point within a black hole where density becomes infinite and space-time breaks down. But the term has other applications too. They must have been doing some incredibly advanced experiments. Our ancestors went to incredible lengths to try and understand reality. They built super colliders and sent telescopes into space to find traces of the Big Bang. I guess the founder was walking in their footsteps. Space is awesome, dude. Oh, another spark. Ah! Oh, yeah. Whoop. All right, number three, crossing. Yes, dude, the rare jammer. So I've got an accumulation device. Uh, is there anything in this door? What's over here? Blue? Okay, I'm gonna assume blue opens that door. I'm gonna guess red drops the gate down. Well, I guess let's take a gander. What's going on over here? Oh, you know, I wonder if I can do this. Hold on. Jam it, place it on, and then it should be in the air enough time. Yup, okay, sweet. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Execution goes there, accumulator. Goes there. Now I can bring the jammer in. I will jam that. I don't think I need blue anymore, so I will just grab red. All right, all right. And look at that. That was easy. That was just like steps. It wasn't even like a. It was just order of things. Structure here. What is? Oh, a palm reader. Sweet. And yet it moves. By Mitku. A fascinating story I discovered in the archive concerns a great scientist by the name of Galileo. This remarkable man made huge contributions to the early development of science, but was best remembered for being embroiled in a controversy with the church that ended with accusations of hearsay, a trial, and him being placed under house arrest for the rest of his life. The cause of the controversy? He argued that the earth revolved around the sun, a view we would describe as self-evident, and which the Inquisition described as foolish and absurd in philosophy and formally heretical. I've actually heard about this story once. Blank story became emblematic for how society often punishes those who try to push our understanding of the world forward in the modern day. There's a legend that at the end of his trial, he muttered, 
and yet it moves. A beautiful idea, but untrue. Because defying society is hard, it comes at a high cost, and not everyone is capable of bearing it. What would you have done in his place? What would I? Miranda, I think I would have tried to stand up for the truth. It's harder than it sounds. Fighting an authority like Elohim is one thing. But when even your friends and allies may renounce you for holding an unacceptable opinion, it takes enormous willpower to continue. But if nobody does it, society gets stuck. Dude, so real, Miranda. So real. Puzzled by it. Go. The world puzzles in the simulation was so important to the creation of our civilization that it has left an indelible imprint. But sometimes I worry that this is an issue. Alexandra Drennan thought of human beings as problem solvers, but the real world isn't anything like the simulation. Yes, there are problems to solve, but there isn't a tetromino waiting to reward you. There's just another problem and another and another. Our veneration of the puzzle may be blinding us to the fact that sometimes there isn't a neat solution. That sometimes life is actually slog, and the best you can do is muddle through. Dude, if only we had Tetramino to reward us. From Aurora. Dear Athena, have you really left us for good without even saying goodbye? I know we haven't spoken much lately, but isn't that just a part of the slow, relaxed lives we now lead? After all those centuries of struggle, trying to build New Jerusalem, I thought we deserved a rest. And if that disappointed you, why didn't you say so? I know you disapprove of all those silly titles they give us now, but we really were your first companions. We know what it was like. I was there when Yemmo died. I remember the horror of realizing there was no way of bringing him back. The impossible finality of it. And then the determination to make it make sense. To have it be part of a story that leads to a better world. I never abandoned that, Athena. I just thought that maybe I could spend some time on the things that make life worth living, too. Maybe I lost track. Maybe I failed you. I don't know. Because you didn't tell me. Thanks, she really just dipped, huh? Just one day, packed her bags and left. And I guess she's been gone for like thousands of years. Who was in her statue over there? Make sure to grab that on my way out. Tri trip tech. Try. I don't know. It's like the same puzzle, but uh, hold on. I want to make green. All right. And now I just make blue. This was easy. This was just. Oh, you know what? I think this introduces you to the accumulator because now I'm going backwards. This is like near the start. I started at eight. That's number two. All right. And going into number one. Absorption. Yeah. Use the accumulator. It should be really easy. It's the first time ever using this. Oh, wait, is this? Okay, hold on. It's gonna go like this. Yeah, this is so easy. Fill it with blue, go like that, pick you up, shoot with red. That is every puzzle down. Now I just need to look for the last lever. Is there one right next to the tower? Yep. Okay, there it is. There's the other lever. All right, here we go. There we go. Oh, memory. Whoop. Sometimes it seems the only choices we have are renouncing civilization or mindless expansion. But that's not the only path forward. Embracing deliberate control over nature doesn't have to mean destruction. We are a species of artists and artisans. Not Melville though, Blessed not Melville. With the ability to transform the raw material of the cosmos into new and better shapes. With our technology, we yeah. can take this chaotic world so full of suffering and turn it into a work of art not melville though <laughs> not melville oh now i gotta go all the way back all right none may know what came first error or so close. sin Getting and one. yet every choice depends on it what error or sin which one came first but every choice depends on it what does that even mean every choice depends on it why? Why? Halt, creature Pandora. Clay. You have taken another step towards the flame. I'm not clay. Before you continue, ask yourself, have the gifts of Prometheus ever truly benefited your people? Yes. Or have they brought nothing but strife? Lady, I'm a robot. Prometheus has poisoned your mind. Turn away from the flame or you will be bound. No. As he was. Nope. Prometheus was a man of the people. There's three towers per cardinal direction and three entities. You'd think it would be symmetrically arranged. One tower per entity, right? But we haven't seen Prometheus at all. Well, yeah, because he's locked up, gang. We're built to find patterns. Maybe we're trying to find patterns where there aren't any. Perhaps. All right, I think this area is completely finished. Now we head on to the northeast area. And then we get to go into the megastructure again.